So if you've got an electric air handler system, horizontal, in an attic, and you've got a plenum on the back that is duckboard, this is really easy. You take a knife and you cut your duckboard to make an access window. Now there's a certain way you want to do this. It's very important. You need to go into the duckboard at an angle so that you have a beveled piece that comes out. It's very important. We're going to start right here and we're going to we're just going to cut it like this. Right, that's my top cut. Now I'm going to come over here and you can see the angle I'm going in at. It's a bevel. Okay. And then the last side over here. Now, don't let your piece of duckboard fall the inside. And the whole reason for cutting a bevel is so that it can't go inside and so that you can put it back on there, tape it, and it stays in place. And then that gives you access to your coil. Now be very aware of your drain line situation. Make sure that you have good working drains and pay attention to it as you're rinsing it with water to make sure that everything goes down the drain like it's supposed to. But you want to take Viper Coil Cleaner like this I'll leave a link for you guys in the description on where you can get it. It works really good. You're going to take it and you're going to spray. This is a pretty dirty coil. You can see it needs help. We're having problems with high humidity in my house. It's, it's just really nasty feeling all the time, really sticky. So this is really very much needed here. Work your way up. That way, the foam doesn't get in your way. All right, and you're gonna let this sit on the coil for about ten minutes and soak. Now, Viper is a non-rinsing, non-odor, safe uh, to get on your hands and all that, and they claim that you don't need to rinse it. But, if you can get a water hose up to your attic, and in my case, I got a uh, water spigot uh, on my hot water line at the water heater, so I've got hot water up here. And if you can manage to get you a brush, something like this, no metal brushes, but a nice, strong, plastic bristle brush, Try to record this while I perform the work, but you gotta be really careful in these attics. You fall through the ceiling very easily. And like I said, be mindful of your drains and make sure that all the water is going where it needs to go.
sometimes if you use just the hot water, sometimes you don't even need a cleaner. Now, every once in a while, take a look at your drains, make sure nothing weird's going on, and continue. If you can, get some of this mud crap off your coil before washing it. That's good, that's even better. The hot water is really working for magic here. If water does manage to escape out of your unit, which there's a really, really good chance it will, make sure that it's landing in the drain pan and it's not going anywhere else and stop your washing until, until it's all kind of drained properly. Sometimes the water will, will come out the, the return right here in this little corner and it can get down on the ceiling, so be careful about that. I'm about to turn it back on because it's getting hot downstairs. Okay, and then finally you just want to make sure you put your cover back on. Um, it's a beveled piece. You can put it on there in the same rotation and orientation that it came off of. And use a good duct tape. Depends on what your material surface is like. You can even get some mastic tape or you can get uh, aluminum foil backed silver tape. But silver tape won't stick very well to the mastic surface. Just do that and uh, that's it. Pretty easy. Just be careful and pay attention. Thanks for watching.